He's big, he's red, and he's in a fighting game now. Pepperman from Pizza Tower is here and I had the most insane experience with him. We'll be checking out his moveset and putting him against some of the toughest opponents in the game. You don't want to miss this one because this dude impressed me and he will impress you too. So subscribe and get ready for a show. All right, in game, we can see Pepperman has the most interesting icon I've ever seen. And <laughs> I cannot take this dude seriously. All right, now that I'm in game, I'm noticing that like I'm actually quite large, bro. Like look how big I am and look how menacing and creepy I look. All right, so I guess we'll just go over some of the basics. We got jab, which is just one attack it is not multiple attacks we have down tilt which is me uh squeezing out some green liquid very beautiful we love that up tilt we have my stem turning into a fist which does a decent amount of damage actually it's not too bad oh look at me crouching i do not like this and then here's my wave dash oh man and my dash attack is just me tossing all of my weight forward and forward tilt is me doing my wonderful creepy grab and it's really interesting because it looks like it's gonna grab but instead it just kind of pushes my opponent forward and then i like flex it's different that's for sure well with the basics out of the way i think it's time we get a little fresh welcome to one of my favorite segments on the channel character drip we're gonna be checking out the various costumes that come with Pepperman and see just how fresh we can make him look. So we have default, then we have an orange, a oh, cream colored one, a darker red, a lighter orange, brown, blue, white, and back to default. I would rate this drip a like three out of 10. It's just alternate colors, nothing too crazy. All right, we're chilling out with Mr. Spamton and now it is time to check out aerials so for neutral air i'll kind of spin and it's a multi-hit it makes a nice wet splashy sounds my, my favorite kind of sounds not not really for up air we see the fist return uh as it now does like an arcing hit and this is fantastic for juggling i must say for down air we do a nice slam and uh if you pause you can see that uh you know, we have a quite a bit we're working with in terms of uh, the impact zone. Not sure how else to word that, but uh, yes, uh, as you can see, quite a good amount of damage right there, partner. Speaking of big slams, I want to introduce you to someone. This is Firefly, and she's a cute anime girl. Normal, right? However, just like Peppermint, she's got a few tricks up her sleeve. Meet Sam. Firefly's busted suit. This video is sponsored by Honkai Star Rail. And if you lock in, I will be hiding a code in this segment. And if you can find it, you'll get 50 stellar jades. Version 2.3 is out with new characters, a new area, and a juicy storyline finale. We talked about Firefly, who was a quiet, shy girl who becomes a decisive warrior once she puts on her suit. Then there's Jade. Jade loves money and dominates her foes with high heels and a whip. You don't want to mess with her. Or maybe you do. I don't judge. Whether you're new or returning, this is the perfect time to jump in. Right now, there's the Origami Birds event, which is the first event to support PvP. Now you can challenge your friends in battle. They are also giving a free tent pole if you log in for seven days. Click the link in the description to download the game. Thanks Honkai Star Rail for sponsoring this video. Ooh, and then back air. Oh my gosh, look at how ripped I am. Oh, look at my respawn platform. That's kind of fun. But yeah, back air, like, that's so satisfying to hit. That's probably going to have excellent offstage potential. I, I literally can't wait to use that for later in the video when we battle some opponents. And then we have forward air, which is like a really simple kick. I mean, it's really nothing crazy, but, uh, and it, it's also kind of hard to hit but there you go seven damage it is what it is let's go ahead and move on to specials all right specials time with me brawler so for neutral b uh we'll slam down a nice red cube i have no idea what the heck this thing is and it doesn't seem to be interactable with your opponent oh you can like slowly chisel away at it because i'm an artist and now it is a beautiful statue which Still cannot interact with, but if we hit it one more time, you send out the statue, which is actually kind of cool. I have to say, I was not expecting that. For side special, uh, we accidentally died. Uh, that's my fault. But uh, it seems to be some kind of charging attack. And when you hit your opponent, 
you'll bounce backwards. Reminds me of Wario and his go move. I, I do enjoy that quite a bit. A great side B if you ask me. Down B, uh, we do some painting and uh, you will birth an absolute monstrosity. I, I really just do not like the way that thing looks whatsoever. Um, but you know, it is my uh, child and my creation, so I, I must love it, you know, like all parents do. Um, oh, that one looked a little different, so I guess sometimes they look a little different. Either way, that's kind of fun, so like on paper you could, you know, put a nice block down, chisel it down to my masterpiece, and then you could send out two... Oh yes! Okay, that was a combo right there, I hit both of them and uh, I can begin to see the mind games forming. And then last but not least, we have up special. Our up special is going to uh, basically give us like an extra jump, which does have a hitbox and kind of lets you bounce around. Um, you can go up and then you can either slowly fall to the ground like this, or you can slam it down by inputting down once you have reached your apex. It's a very subtle difference, but I can imagine this is going to be very helpful for uh, maintaining control as you recover, making sure your opponent isn't edge guarding you as much. I, I like this. I think it's uh, very simple, but also kind of unique. All right, we seem to have a pretty good kit of specials. So now I think it's time for the smash attacks. All right, we're hanging out with King DDD, and now you know we're hanging out with a fairly chunky dude like ourselves. You know, when they say pick on someone your own size, well, this time we're going to be picking on someone our own size. Let's go ahead and begin with forward smash. Forward smash, we will kind of look alerted and then we'll lunge forward with our knee. It does 20 damage, that's actually ridiculous. Then we have up smash, we shrink down really small, which is, oh, you can move it. Wait, that is interesting. Being able to fully move while charging your up smash is kind of powerful, I, I have to say. That is gonna be extremely useful. Then we have down smash. And this is basically like a multi-hit. I wasn't expecting that, but it will also hit on both sides of you. So pretty fun and satisfying to use. I have to say these smash attacks are really solid, specifically up smash. That has to be my favorite for sure. All right, with the basic smash attacks covered, we only have one more thing to look at before it's time to put Pepperman to the test. All right, I'm looking fresh like Sans, looking like a giant skull instead of a pepper. And now it's time for the shielding animation and the taunt. For shielding, I will uh, brace, but get really angry. And I have to say, the animation is just so clean on this character, I'm a big fan. And then for the taunt, well, things are about to get interesting because his taunt is. I do not like that. It's really creepy. All of the Pizza Tower characters just have something unsettling about them. It's. It's honestly quite charming, but still. I like this taunt. It's a nice blend of like creepy and honestly a little toxic. If you spam this on matches online, you might make a few people angry, which is pretty funny. Sans, thank you for being here with me. Is there something you wanted to say to me? You look like you want to tell me something. Ah, interesting. Yes, it is time to put Pepperman to the test in a series of very epic battles. Will Pepperman be able to stack up against the greats? There's only one way to find out. Using our newly found knowledge, we're going to be battling Chris first. Chris is a pretty tough opponent to fight against. We've, If you've seen the channel before, you know this. Oh my gosh, I look so silly when I get hit. I have to say that might be my favorite sprite in the entire character. Oh my gosh, bro, my eyes. Oh, hold on. Okay, I literally threw, but it paid off. We still got the KO. Why are you taunting, bro? You just lost a stock. Now, it might look like Chris is struggling against me, which I think they are, but uh, do keep in mind. Okay, there it is. There it is, Chris. I see you. Chris is actually a pretty tough opponent, and things will only get more tough from here on out, so make sure you keep watching because I'm going to be going up against someone who's like 10 times more powerful than Chris is. One thing I really like about Pepperman is just like all his combos are so natural, very, very fluid. And <laughs> that's his victory screen right there. We love that. All right, Chris down, next opponent is Pepino. You really thought we were gonna do a whole video without you boy Pepino? Of course not. We gotta have Italian representation up in this channel, so let's do it. All right, Pepino, uh, wow, ooh, good start. I have to say, I was not expecting you to just grab me like that in the beginning. 
Um, we're gonna go ahead and get a nice butt slam, which doesn't pay off. Hello? Dude, I just scammed myself. It looked cool, but like it didn't pay off, so it just wasn't worth it. That's good to know. I guess down air is just not an offstage kind of move. Ooh, okay. I, now we gotta test this back air. Oh, <laughs> we're dunking. I like that. Oh my gosh, that's a new sprite. I did not think my eyeballs could protrude that far out of my face. Very nice. Oh, I'm alive. No, I'm not. Why did I do that? Okay, let's get creative. We're gonna start sculpting. We love sculpting. Okay, we have sculpted a statue and now we're going to use it. Uh, if Pepino would uh, allow me to do so. Oh, and there it goes. Off, not hitting anyone. Very good job, Mr. Linklate. Ooh, okay, nice combo starter. Very beautiful stuff. And then nice slam dunk, of course, again. And this stage is cool. It has a unique effect when you're on the last stock. We got a nice sandstorm going. The tension is high. Am I going to be able to destroy Mr. Pepino here? Um, honestly, I think so. This statue is going to help get set up something nice. It's going to hit only once. I thought it was going to hit twice. Ooh, okay. And then a back air. <gasps> Yo! Okay, that back air is beautiful. I think I got every stock with that attack. Um, we're gonna keep using that. That's that's quite nice. Okay, you haven't seen anything yet because it's time for everyone's favorite segment on the channel. Okay, but can he beat Goku? Welcome back to the Goku segment on the channel, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be very difficult. I don't know if Pepperman can beat Goku, but we're about to find out. All right, wish me luck. I'm going to need it. We're gonna try to uh, set something up early game here. And we're not going to be able to follow that up with anything, unfortunately. Starting things off somewhat even. I wasn't expecting it to be this even. We're going to try to get a slam here. Still not paying off. Oh, okay. Great way to re-enter the stage. Oh, my statue's doing numbers here. And we get a nice fully charged up smash. Totally beautiful, I have to say. I am currently in the lead and I would love to maintain this lead if possible. We're gonna go ahead and try to be a little creative here. Oh, we're gonna lose our first stock. Only 18% on Goku. It's not looking like I have an insane lead. In fact, we just lost our lead. Oh my gosh, bro, almost just wombo comboed me. Oh, this combo is good. Oh, but we missed. Ooh, okay. That is... Oh, his spike was insane. I, I can't... I have to respect that. That was beautiful. We're going for a nice slam here. He is at a stupid high percentage, and he dodges my smash attack. Oh, very beautiful. We're doing pretty good right now, I have to say. Oh, insane smash attack. Insane follow up, and we get it. Oh. Dude, I just beat Goku. Yo, Pepperman's got the combos, bro. I love this character. I'm having so much fun. With Goku down, there's only one more character who's even crazier than Goku. I didn't think we'd be pulling out the Ronald for the video, but honestly, we gotta really test out Pepperman's limit here, guys. All we have to do is uh, just not get hit, which uh, sounds easy, but is not gonna be easy. Oh my, look at me, bro. I, I'm stuck in this combo. I can't even move right now. I would like to point out that I have over 100% and Ronald has a 16%. It's just something I thought I'd bring up. Good to know. And uh, we get Giga Lasered and I live. I don't know how I lived. All right, yeah, it's not looking too good. I have to be completely honest with you guys. Is it winnable? I'm coming back. Ooh. Ooh, wait, we're following up quite nicely statue does not get the results we're looking for we use our iframes here to get ourselves a nice advantage and i personally would love to see oh can we get one stock i'm so stun locked right now no it's over and it's ronald bro i don't know what i expected but 
Pepperman had a really good run. Okay, so now we know Pepperman can't beat Ronald McDonald. I mean, I don't think that was a surprise to anyone, but I would like to see how powerful the Pepperman CPU is. So let's test that out. And to fully test Pepperman's limits, we're gonna be using P-Rank Pepino, which is a hacked version of Pepino that is not available in the workshop. We made a whole video on this Pepino, so check it out if you'd like. All right, let's just kind of see what this Pepperman can do. Does it have an advanced AI? It doesn't seem like it does. It feels pretty normal. Now, allow me to demonstrate what P-Rank Pepino can do. Oh yes, I, re I remember this like it was yesterday. Oh yes, yes, yes. I have infinite jumps as well. Basically, I have no cooldown on anything and uh, bye bye Pepperman, bye bye. <laughs> so stupid, <laughs> this is just so stupid. Poor Pepperman can't even keep up. All right, we made our point. Pepperman might have an incredible moveset, but the CPU does not take advantage of it. Well, Pepperman certainly was a treat to play. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and check out our mega playlist. I have reviewed over 400 characters, including some Pizza Tower characters that you might be interested in. All right, see you next time. Peace.